for the opportunity. I'm Jiroge Kuroria, the member of parliament for the Gatuno North constituency, Kiambu County. My question on behalf of my people goes to the cabinet secretary for water, sanitation and irrigation, the very able Honorable Alice Wahome. And uh, my first question is, could the cabinet secretary state the objectives the government had in constructing Darugo 2 Dam project in Gatun North constituency, the targeted beneficiaries, and further provide details of the intended contractors of the project. Two, she indicates the total cost of the project and the number of persons to be displaced from their ancestral homes. Number three, could the cabinet secretary explain why public participation within the area of the intended project was not undertaken by the ministry in the light of the fact that Karimeno Dam is less than five kilometers from the proposed Darugo 2 Dam, Mr. Speaker. Fourth, we are asking that the cabinet secretary state the timelines within which Karimeno Dam shall be utilized by the residents of Gatun North constituency. Considering that the dam was completed two years ago and the residents are yet to be connected to supply of water from the said dam, despite the dam being next to their homesteads. Number five, and finally, could the cabinet secretary provide timelines within which the minister will complete construction of alternative road in Gadanji, considering that the access road was closed for purposes of construction of Karimeno Dam. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I think as uh, we organize for the other, for maybe a more friendly mic, I can proceed with this one, with okay. your permission, Go ahead, uh, Mr. Patrick Speaker, Clark, sir. Make sure yeah. you have a, a stand there. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm here I, uh, once again, Mr. Speaker. May I appreciate this time granted by the Honorable House, uh, this uh, distinguished house, Mr. Speaker, with your permission. The first question comes from the Honorable Member uh, for Gatondo North, Joroge Kororia. I will uh, maybe in the interest of time, I will. Yes, uh, Honorable Emase. Wait, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Honorable Speaker, you need to protect the CS so that she's heard in silence. We can't hear her. And if she could be given a, a, a better microphone so that she can be audible. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Clark, can you ensure that? Uh, yeah, the first question is, t is uh, state the objectives the government had in constructing Darugo 2 Dam project in Gatondo North constituency, the targeted beneficiaries, and further provide details of the intended contractors of the project. Honorable Speaker, I wish to respond as follows uh, that the ministry through Earthy Water Works Development Agency prepared a master plan which prioritized the implementation of Darugo 2 project to produce 50,000 cubic meters of water per day. This is intended to serve Gatondo, meaning Gatondo North uh, is part of that uh, project uh, design, Kamwangi Town and the neighboring areas. It was also to supply parts of Nairobi with the uh, water. Let, let, let's continue and see how it works, Mr. Speaker, sir. Go ahead. Uh, the project involves uh, construction of a 52-meter-high gravity dam impounding 18 million cubic meters and producing 50,000 cubic meters of water per day, and distribution lines will be available for that. Distribution pipelines. The key objective of the project, Mr. Speaker, is to provide clean, potable water 
for to over 500,000 people in the areas stated, and thus improving their livelihoods and quality of life, catalyzing commercial activities and driving economic growth in the surrounding community. Mr. Speaker, the second question is that I indicate the total cost of the project and of the persons to be displaced, the number of persons to be displaced from their ancestral homes. Uh, the cost of the implementation of Darugo, Darugo 2 project is estimated at uh, 112 million US dollars. That's roughly maybe about one, 14 billion Kenya shillings and shall be implemented through a public-private partnership framework of funding. Approximately 650 acres of land will be acquired for the dam construction works. The actual number of people to be displaced by the project, Mr. Speaker, shall be established once the detailed designs and resettlement action plan, that is RAP, activities, of identifying the actual project affected persons is completed. But it is estimated that uh, Mr. Speaker will be dealing with about 250 to 350 people. And then I'm requested to, I'm asked to explain why public participation within the area of the intended project was not undertaken by the ministry in light of the fact that Karimeno Dam is less than five kilometers. Mr. Speaker, the implement, implementing agency, that is Earthy Water Development Works, commenced public participation with the residents within the project area in December 2022. Some of the public, members of the public objected to the implementation of the project and filed a court case. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that indeed we held two meetings, public participation meetings, but during the second meeting, there was disruption by members of the public, including political incitement, and uh, therefore the, the conclusion of that particular session was not done. However, some of the members in the affected, in the, in the project area, or members who are likely to be affected, filed a court case and an injunction against the commencement of the project in the interim basis was issued, therefore hindering further public participation. And I want to confirm that the ministry, since we are still interested in this project, is defending the suit. State timelines within Karameno Dam shall be utilized by the residents of Katundu North constituency considering that the dam was completed two years ago and the residents are yet to be connected to the supply. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that Water Services Regulatory Board has already approved 3,500 cubic meters of water per day for the residents of Gatundu, and this supply commenced, uh, distribution commenced in April 2022. Additional works have been approved to produce a further or an additional 20,000 cubic meters of water per day at Karimeno Dam 2 for distribution in Gatudo North and Thika, and Thika Town uh, constituency uh, through an, a further 280 kilometer long distribution uh, network. This works will commence in August 2023. I mean, we've already been uh, funded or we have a funding arrangement and that particular project going to Thika and the parts of Gatondo will be completed within the next 12 months. We have further drilling of uh, 15 boreholes, recognizing that some of the areas affected may not be able to benefit the people upstream from the dam, may not be able to benefit from this particular water supply. We have a provision of 15 boreholes uh, for the affected area and uh, I believe about four boreholes have been done. The remaining boreholes are awaiting funding. They will be executed in the course of this financial year. And further drilling, uh, and therefore, I want to confirm that particular information. And we expect that by June 2024, these 15 boreholes will produce a further 3,000 cubic meters of water per day. Finally, 
then I am asked to provide timelines within which the ministry will complete the construction of alternative road in Githanji. This particular road is a part of other works within the project of Karemenu, and it will be done within the period of the 12 months when we are dealing with the bohos, uh, Mr. Speaker. I want to assure the honorable member that we will be able to do that road within the course of the next one year, latest or completion date being scheduled for 2024 August.